The Complete Guide to Microsoft Office 2013 Contacts and Connections Another Computer Mama Guide When you're working with computer hardware, a system would work until you cleaned your desk and moved something. Nine times out of ten, it was connections, connections, connections. Something simply wasn't connected. Your business and your social networks also need connections. Think about it. You may have good people, good products, and good advertising, but nothing will happen until a connection is made. This lesson is on contacts. How to create a contact, edit a contact, and use your social network connections. There are some sample files you can download if you wish. The ribbon that we're going to be focusing on is contacts. So, if you are ready, please start the program, Microsoft Outlook. Hello, Outlook. By default, Microsoft Outlook opens in the inbox. Where are the contacts? Go to the bottom of the folder pane. There are several options, including Mail, Calendar, People, and Tasks. Click on the folder for People. Hello, Contacts. There is a new ribbon that goes along with the people in the contact views. From left to right, the groups include New, Delete, Communicate, Current View, Actions, Share, Tags, and Find. Let's add a new contact. In this example, I'm going to play with the contact name Glenn Glicked. You may add yourself. Try it. Go to Home, New, New contact. What do you see? A new contact will open. Add the following data, please. Enter the full name. For the company, type Charlotte's website. For the job title, type technical support. What do you see? If you enter data for the full name as well as the company, you can choose how to file this contact. You can file by last name, first name. Last name with the company or company first. I've said it several times, but Microsoft Outlook is a database, so the data is important. How do you know the data is accurate? Here's one way. Go to the Full Name field and click on Full Name. What do you see? You will be prompted to edit the name details. By default, there is a check mark to show this window whenever the data is incomplete. That works for me because this is a database. Keep going. Please enter the email address. And notice, the email address and the display name don't have to match. Now enter a sample phone number. There are places for four numbers if you wish. OK, please add the address. 123 Main Street, Brighton, Michigan, 48116. Under the category if you've got to try this, click on the button that says Map It. Your internet browser will open and bring you a map. This is just too cool, isn't it? All right, fun's over. Please go back to Microsoft Outlook. I'm back in the Contacts folder. So far, we've been using the General View. Try this. Go to Contacts, Show, Details. What do you see? You can enter the following details. For the department, type training. The office is in Brighton, and Glenn Glick's nickname is Teacher. His title is Mr. On the right-hand side, you can add personal details, such as his birthday. Happy birthday, Glenn Glick. Pictures help you match people, places, and projects. Here are the steps. Go to the Contacts, Options, Picture, and click on Add Picture. Browse to the folder where you've downloaded a picture, and click OK to return to the contact form. What do you see? The picture that you selected was added to the business card. What else did you see? Did you notice that the information that you entered into the contact fields were added to the little business card on the right side? You can edit the business card if you wish. Try it. 
Select a contact and go to Contact, Options, Business Card. Go to Card Design and click on Image Align. Select Top Center. Try this too. On the left hand side, click on the Business Phone field and change the label. Make it say Cell. What else do you see? At the bottom of the field list, there are buttons to add or remove details. You can also use the arrows up and down to move the fields where you wish. Click OK. In colonial and antebellum times, you would hand out your business card on a silver saver. It was elegant to hand out your business card. Fast forward to today and Microsoft Outlook has several tools you can use to present your card. Try it. Select a sample business card and go to Home, Share, Forward Contact. What do you see? The options include As a Business Card and As an Outlook Contact. Please select As a Business Card. Keep going. A new email will open with your business card attached. Please address it to yourself and click Send. A new email should arrive in your inbox. It is the business card we just forwarded. What do you see? The contact information will be displayed as a form. Let's go back to the contacts and learn a few more things. Many projects need a team of people to get the job done right. You can create a contact group to simplify your communications. Try it. The contacts folder is selected. Go to Home. New, New Items. Click on New Contact Group. What do you see? A new contact group form should open. The contact ribbon includes Actions, Show, Members, Communicate, Tag, and Zoom. Keep going. Let's add some members from our contacts. Go to Contact Group Members. Click on Add Members. Please select from your Outlook contacts. The address book should open and you could choose several contacts from your list. When you are ready, click OK to return back to the group contact. It's a good policy to document your changes. Say you made changes to your contact list. You can document that in the notes. Go to Contact Group, Show, Notes, and enter some sample text. What else do you see? The contact group actions include Save and Close, Delete Group, and Forward Group. Click on Save and Close. There is a new contact group in our contacts. The tools that you use with the person are the same as you use with the group. Say you wanted to forward this group. Click on the contact group and go to Home, Share, Forward Contact, and click on As an Outlook Contact. A new email should open with your contact group attached. Please address this email to yourself and click Send. The email should arrive in your inbox. What do you see? You can preview the names in the contact group or edit them if you wish. OK. Save and close the contact group. We got them. Contacts are people, and Microsoft Outlook puts people in the people pane. Your people pane tracks the messages, appointments, tasks, and activities for everyone in your contacts folder. Try it. View the people pane. Go to View, People pane, Normal. There could be a lot of information here, so you could use the tabs to filter it. Say you just wanted to see the attachments or the meetings. That'll work. I have contacts in several places that I would like to link into Microsoft Outlook, especially the ones from Facebook and LinkedIn. Try it. Go to View, People Pane, Account Setting. A wizard will ask you to connect Microsoft Outlook to your social networks. Please note that this is a very dynamic feature and it changes with different versions of Microsoft Outlook. 
In this example, Glenn Glick is connected to Facebook as well as to his corporate SharePoint, his company email. Each one of these has their own settings, username, and passwords. Very good. This lesson taught two important options that the computer mama uses all the time. Contacts and social networks. I love it that all my contacts are gathered into one place in Microsoft Outlook. I even like it better because all my contacts synchronize with my phone. Smart. Very smart. Ollie Ollie and Free, you done good. This is the Computer Mama. And thank you for coming.